What did he use inappropriate language or try and touch you? No, I mean, um, yes, he he hired like a jazz band to sing to me. Jazz. Yeah, well. The now, of course, results is a romantic comedy. You're playing opposite Colby Smulders, who many people know from How I Met Your Mother and also from the Avengers films and some yeah. other superhero films. What was it like when you first met her? When did you first sort of encounter her? Did you meet her on set or when was it? No, we, t we spoke on the phone. Um, I wasn't overly aware of her work. I had seen her on the show a couple of times, obviously. Um, we had a laugh straight away on the phone. You know, I got a sense of her humour and uh, I knew straight away we were going to be good, you know. So, and she's a really funny, funny girl. So, so that made it really enjoyable and, you know, we had a good time. I always wonder that, now, do you have to feel like there's a spark between you and your co-star to make a film work, or can you sort of generate that spark just out of thin air, regardless of whether you hit it off personally? I, I think, honestly, that I, you know, I, I'm I'm a little dubious sometimes of this this all this talk about on-screen chemistry. Yeah. I get that there's some validity in it. I get that there is something extra if you have that. But I think, as an actor, it's your job to make the chemistry appear like it's there anyway. You know, so I think sometimes I do think sometimes the the, the dynamic between people maybe doesn't translate well on screen, so I guess that's what people are talking about when they say there's sort of no chemistry. But you might have great chemistry with somebody, but it just doesn't appear appropriate or it doesn't appear right in a movie, you know. But, you know, we had a good laugh and we talked about... In the film, you get the sense that, that these two have had some sort of romance in the past. You don't see it, you kind of, you know, it's past. So it was good to sort of talk about that and get a sense of what that might have been. Uh, and, and and she works for him, you know. She's one of his employees. So uh, so at least we're in we're still in scenes together, and we're still working together. And you get the sense that there's some unresolved kind of uh, um, you know relationship. Now in this new film, you play a trainer. A lot of people don't know this, but you actually were a bodybuilder early early in your career, right? Well, I I, I yeah, for a very short <laughs> very short period of time in my life, I won a I won a bodybuilding competition in nineteen. Uh, 84 when I was 16, like a junior <laughs> state championship, which was a very odd thing to have done, but uh, it was fascinating. And in a way, you know, it was great training for this movie because uh, it's meant that I've been, you know, in and out of gyms for the last 30 odd years, really. So um, I did say to Andrew Bajalski, the director, I said, I, I don't need to do any research on this movie. I, I know this world. Yeah. Yeah, I was wondering, what did you draw upon from that experience? sort of fuel your character as a trainer, gym owner in this film results? Well, to be honest, you know, I think most of the work that you do is drawing from the script, you know, on every film. You know, you need, I need to find that inspiration within the script. If you can't find it in the script, you're in trouble, you know. And if you stick around for the end credits, we see that you actually have a song on the soundtrack, Storm, because you have this whole other life as a musician. You released an album last year that came out internationally. Tell me more about that. Well, it only came out nationally, actually, so it just came out in Australia. Uh, and so I just make music all the time. I mean, it's just one of the things that I like to do, and I've got a studio at home, and, and I finally just got it together to actually release something, which was a great relief after, you know, many years of <laughs> writing music. And how do you know when a movie's right for you? When you see a script for a movie like Results, how do you know this is something I want to take? Or like a movie like Memento, one of your great movies. When you see a script like that come to your desk, how do you decide, I want to be in this? It's that feeling that you have in the same way that you do when you read a book. You read a book and something just stays with you, it resonates and you can't stop thinking about it. And you, So in a similar way, I, I have to feel that with a, with a script and I have to feel that with a character. I have to feel like, like there's a desire to get into that character and there's, a, and there's also a, a belief that I can get into that character. In this movie result, your character Trevor, he really seems to be fighting for his job to retain some meaning. And I'm wondering, what do you think is the meaning of this movie? Different audiences members get different things out of films. You know, you could ask 10 different people and they might get, they might get sort of something else out of it. And to me, any film really is about, should be about exploring human behavior, sort of psychology, the dynamics, relationships, what we find difficult, what we find easy to express, what we find we're conscious of within ourselves, what we find we're sort of, is subconscious, you know, what we're sort of denying and all these delicate weird things that, that make us up as human beings. You know, I guess, I guess with any film you hope that somebody at least can then relate it on some level to their own life.